All right, agents, here we go. The initial level one military P416 everybody starts out with. What happens if you pull that out with the full DPS build? Well, nothing. Look at this. How long? Oh, that's amazing. That's just normal elite. Now watch this. All right, let's get into some real gameplay and, and the real build. <laughs> What's up, agents? How y'all doing? Hope everybody's being as safe as you need to be out there. Hold on a second. I'm not being safe enough. I need my coffee. All right, now we can get down to business. All right, agents, so I'm always bringing skill builds. Very rarely do I bring any DPS builds. I brought some, but I thought I would do a quick little show off of one of my fun little DPS builds right now. Just wanna show you guys what it can do real quick numbers wise, and then you guys can use it how you do in gameplay. What I really wanted to see, can I hit a million DPS, or not a million DPS, a million damage with a bullet? from an assault rifle. So, let's go. Okay, 4.3. Well, let's let's try the head. We'll do more damage that way, right? Oh, I saw some eight, nine, 819 thousands, was that it? Oh, I think we can do better. Look at that, 8.9. Oh, 9.3. Oh shit, what did we just see there? Let's see what you wait. Are we are we high or did something cool just happen? Booyah. So yeah, big horn. A million per. And the fucked up part, right? Now we just turn it into a, a marksman rifle. Boom. 1.2 per shot. Yeah. So, uh, show you what's going on here with this, guys, is, see, first of all, we are going with the sharpshooter. This is the main thing. We're using the big horn with the big game hunter. That way, the headshots grant us that plus 2% stack of headshot damage. Get enough of that. We start hitting those million numbers. Pretty nice. But the question is, how do we do it? Well, uh, let's start out with the brand sets. We're running one group of Sombra for the 15% crit hit damage. We're using one Cheska... Your Roba, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Uh, we're using that for the critical hit chance. Also on the backpack here, uh, you notice we're using village vigilance. So we got the 25% bonus damage when we're not taking damage. Uh, we are using two pieces of the Providence for the headshot damage and the critical hit chance. We are using the sacrifice for the chest, which gives us the perfect last cannon for 30% amplified damage. We take 60% bonus damage, so that can be a liability. You'll have to learn how to play around that. Moving on to the holster, we got our Fenris to give us that 10% assault rifle damage. And we are going to round that out with 10% rifle damage for the M1A using the Fox Prayers. And that will give us that 8% damage to targets out of cover. Uh, I tried to use contractor gloves, but as it turned out, uh, since we're not using an LMG, there's no reason to use it. We're much better off getting that crit hit chance. And it's just uh, yeah, that extra damage to armor didn't end up to be a benefit. So, uh, yeah, so that's how we're doing it. Let's check out the stats real quick. So uh, you guys can see our base weapon damage is 123,000 per shot. 59.9 crit hit chance out of the 60 cap, so no reason to squeeze out that 0.1. We just end up losing out on something bigger. 
We have over 150% crit hit damage. We have over 120% headshot damage on this. Uh, we got some damage to health. Uh, one thing I wanted to do is bump up my accuracy as much as I could. We got 100% all weapon damage and 40% assault rifle damage. Also, you notice we got 25% rifle damage here to kick that damage of the M1A up. Now, to quickly show you guys what the M1A can do. Even body shots, right? That's 8.6 mil right there. For, and that's just because I can't pull my finger fast enough. Up oh, 11.2, check that out. But you can also pop the body too. And then it just kicks our, our crit hit damage up. So if you're not hitting those headshots, because um, those two are, uh, I believe the crit hit damage and the headshot damage is additive. So it doesn't really matter too much. All right, Asians, the one other thing I want to go over in case some of you don't have the big horn, I know it can be kind of hard to get it, especially if you can't get into a good group to get through legendary missions or the summit or I, I, I'm not sure. I, I think it's either the summit or the legendary missions. But if you can't get this, what I'd recommend is something like you can get a you know custom P416 with Ranger. So the further away, the more damage you do. But here's my favorite. Get something like a custom P416 with measured on it. We dropped from, we were at about 123,000 with the big horn. We dropped down to 115,000 with this. We will be firing um, a little bit faster because of the measured. Uh, but you notice, so we still have the 60% crit hit chance essentially. We're up to almost 170 crit hit damage, but our headshot damage is down to 90%. A uh, little more stability, a little less accuracy. Uh, we still got 100% all weapon damage and 40% assault rifle damage. So let's see what this, this looks like. So this is going to be a lot of bullets real quick. And then it slows down. And even if we're doing bodies with the P416, it's not a big deal. Look at this. You can plow through them. So yeah, agents, uh, you can have a lot of fun doing DPS builds. I just like playing with the skill builds because there's, I tend to find a lot more variety in building, mixing and matching skills and stuff like that. But let's face it, there's a ton of weapons and you know, you can just, I mean, you know, there's no reason to use these weapons. I mean, look at, look at all of this different stuff you can use, right? I mean, there's just so many different types of weapons that you could play with and have a good time with and figure out. And I mean, look at this, man. You can even have fun, drop down to a level 38. It doesn't even have a talent on it, you know? Give it a shot. See if you can still whoop ass with it, you know? Enjoy this game, you know? Think outside of the box. Create some challenges for yourself, you know? Uh, we don't always have to just create the best build there is in play. You can have a good time experimenting. Sometimes you can learn some really cool shit by failing, so. Hell, you know, that's just my opinion. Anyway, do me a favor, guys. Uh, on the way out, if you haven't already, smash that like button. Hopefully by now, I have earned your guys' subscription. Best thing you can do to help my channel is to share this video. If you guys have anything that you think is interesting here, anything you want to see in the future, do me a favor. Leave a comment down below. Thank you so much, agents. Y'all be as safe as you need to be out there. And I'll check you, agents, in the dark zone. All right. What happens if we do this build without even a talent? Oh yeah.